This is a step-by-step -step guide to building an Allen Scott Design wood-fired oven. That's the finished oven, and yeah, that's me. This oven has really changed our lives in terms of the types and number of parties we have. Let's see how to build one. I used a 6-inch foundation. Colder areas might need a deeper foundation than that. I'd never done masonry work before, but found a how-to book, and the process was pretty simple. The wood base, seen here, is used to support the hearth, and it's left in the oven. The plywood goes down, and then a perlite and cement base is leveled out. This wood and rebar assembly will create a hanging foundation for the hearth. The wood separates the hearth from the cinder blocks and allows for thermal expansion, and the entire hearth is supported by the rebar. Cement is poured and the wood is removed. and a clay base for the oven floor is put down. I used fire bricks for the oven floor. They are put on the fire clay base. Here the walls for the oven are being laid out and now mortared into place. The arch needs to be laid out on the ground so a plywood template can be made. The archways are mortared and the support removed. It's amazing to see the arches staying up, just like they told me about in social studies class. Okay, I'm easily impressed. I haven't done that much masonry as I told you. The tunneling down toward the chimney is a tricky section, as is laying out the chimney base. A different template is used for the front arch, and again, it stays up as if by magic. The insulation layer includes aluminum foil and wire for strength. At this stage I made some mistakes. I should have used loose perlite and instead I used perlite and cement to get a shaped top for the oven. This ended up cracking a little, but I still think the shape is pretty neat. Loose perlite and a metal roof might be better next time. A few small fires starts to dry off the masonry. I used red and buff cement pigment to create a final color for the oven. I added some decorative tiles. And I got this grill at a second hand shop. The work table and shelves are much better than the folding card table I used to use. Here are the three tools that I use all the time. I made the coal scraper from a garden hoe and the ash brush I got at a restaurant supply store. The day before a pizza party, I weigh the dough balls into individual plastic containers and let them proof in the fridge overnight. I make each pizza on a cardboard cake round. For more information about the cake rounds, recipes, and more details about the building process, Check out my site, woodfiredpizza.org. Happy baking!